So for those of you who don't know my story, I actually went through a pretty big weight loss. Um, about two years ago, I weighed 210 pounds. I had a BMI of over 30 and the doctors considered me obese. After signing up for a soccer league, I realized that I couldn't run and I didn't have the endurance to keep up with the other people I played with. So I started running and that running led to me running all the time and I ended up losing uh, just over 60 pounds in over a year. And it was during that weight loss phase that I actually decided to train and run my first marathon in Erie last fall. So ever since my marathon, I've been trying to challenge myself physically more and more each day. So when I saw the 5,000 calorie burn challenge, I said, well, I could do that. So I was trying to think how could I make the 5,000 calorie burn challenge a little more interesting. Um, I'm a big runner, so I could probably do it a lot easier if I ran uh, the whole time. So I decided to do a different challenge and uh, burn 500 calories 10 ways. So the 10 ways I decided were running, um, rowing, swimming, biking, and then after that, I'll probably just make it up. Um, so I'm going to eat dinner, go to bed, because I'm going to wake up early, because it's going to be a long day tomorrow. So it's just before 6 o'clock, and I'm at my first stop which is Anytime Fitness. I weighed myself this morning and I weighed just below 155 pounds. Um, so at Anytime Fitness, which I seem to be the only one here, which is good, uh, I'm gonna do my first two exercises. So uh, the first exercise I'm gonna do is Jacob's Ladder, which is sort of like the stair step uh, the step up machine, a stair stepper, whatever you want to call it, uh, only it's a ladder. So pretty much uh, you just climb the whole time. It's really good workout and uh, you burn a lot of calories fast. And then I'm also going to um, go in the row. So I feel like I'm getting some of the easier exercises out first. Um, but let's see how we do. So I spent about a little bit over an hour and a half there for my first two exercises. Um, but I'm done now. I'm actually surprised because I thought rowing was a, much, a lot more calorie burning. But I was actually a a only averaging about 8 to 9 calories per minute. So it took about an hour to get that done. Whereas uh, the Jacob's Ladder, um, you know, studies show that on Jacob's Ladder you the average person burns about um, 900 to 1,000 calories per hour, so about 500 per 30 minutes. I'm a little bit above average, so I typically climb at about you know 90, 95 feet per minute. Uh, so I ended up getting about 2,700 feet climbed in about 28 minutes. So and I actually torch calories on uh, Jacob's Ladder and finished that in about 28 minutes, but that rowing... And, and I never knew how um, much rowing made your legs tired. So I'm definitely tired. Um, I actually went to bed at 12.30 last night and got up at 5.30. So I'm only on five hours of sleep. But um, that's what makes it a challenge. So we're going to keep pushing. Uh, it looks like it's about to rain. But I want to get in one more exercise before breakfast. So I'm actually going to go to the park 
and uh, do about a five mile run. Typically they say about a hundred calories are burned per mile, um, which is usually true. I'll probably do a little bit more than five miles, um, but um, yeah, about a five mile run. So let's go. So it's 8.20 and I just got done with my run, which was my th third exercise. So looking at my Garmin, I did 5.3 miles and 38.50, which is uh, about a 7.20 pace. And I burned 582 calories, which I think is a little bit high, but sometimes Garmin overestimates. I did 5 miles, so... 500 um i actually started out faster probably a 650 which is what i usually do um for five miles but about halfway through my body was like wait a minute you're tired so i actually started running a lot slower to the very end when i was averaging about a 730 pace so i got that done i'm at 1500 calories Gonna go home and eat some breakfast. I typically don't eat cereal uh, just because of the sugar, but I bought a box just for today. So I'm gonna go home and enjoy some cereal. So it's 9.42. I actually had a bowl of oatmeal with my breakfast because surprisingly, cereal isn't that high calorie. Um, I had two servings of Eggo cereal and it was only 320 calories. So I'm a bit down on my calories right now uh, compared to what I've burned. So I'm actually using my FitPal to track my calories because I just can't trust Garmin that much. So I burned 582 running, 509 on Jacob's Ladder, and 502 rowing. Uh, so right now I'm at uh, almost 1,600 calories burned. So I'm at my third stop. Uh, I'm going to try to get in two more exercises before lunch. Um, right now I'm going to go for a swim first, and then uh, I'll probably do a bike either uh, the recumbent bike or uh, upright bike. I haven't decided yet. The recumbent bike actually seems like it's the better option because uh, I could just sit back and relax. But I'll try to get in at least a thousand more calories burned before lunch. And we'll see how that goes. So that's five exercises down, five more to go, 2,500 calories. My FitPal actually says I burned about 3,000, and I think that's because um, Garmin estimated that I burned over 800 uh, on the recumbent bike. I think that's a little, little high. I was going 20 miles per hour, but um, yeah, I think that's a overestimate. I felt a little sick while swimming. Um, it's probably because I didn't wait an hour before I started swimming after I ate breakfast. Um, what did your parents always tell you? Uh, wait at least one hour before you swim after you eat. And I didn't do that. 
So it's just afternoon. Uh, I'm halfway there. Um, now it's time for lunch. So the place I'm eating for lunch is actually right across the street from where I just swam. It's a small little barbecue joint so called uh, Dominic's Barbecue. So I'm going to eat lunch and then got a long day ahead of me. So for lunch I had a half a chicken, a pulled pork sandwich, a brisket sandwich, and a piece of cornbread. It may seem like a lot of food, but honestly, I'm still kind of hungry. And there's a Dairy Queen right next door. Now I'm tempted to go to Dairy Queen, but I feel like I need more whole food than anything. Ah, decisions. Well, you had to see that coming. So even with that blizzard, I'm still at a pretty decent caloric deficit for the day. We're halfway through the day and I'm just a bit over 3,000 calories burned. I've done five exercises and I still got five more planned. So I'm gonna take about an hour to digest my lunch and then I'm gonna head to the gym for my next workout. So it's a quarter till three and I'm at the gym for exercises six and seven. I completely underestimated how much I could eat and I actually uh, got a little sick after eating that blizzard. Um, my stomach's not feeling too good so I'm not going to do cardio first right now. I'm actually going to do more of a power workout with uh, tire flips, uh, sled pushes, things like that. And then after that I'm going to hit the Stairmaster uh, for my seventh exercise of the day. Um, hoping to have this done in a couple hours. That way I could get some uh, weightlifting in before dinner. And then uh, get my last two exercises in after dinner. So it's a little before 5 p.m. and I just got done with exercises 6 and 7 for the day. So I did a, just a functional fitness workout which included uh, tire flips, chin ups, sled pushes and uh, the power ropes. Um, then I finished it off with about um, 51 minutes on the Stairmaster. Uh, so according to FitBod. I actually burned 527 calories during my uh, hour workout and then um, I finished it off with 512 calories burned on the Stairmaster. So it's been a long day. It's almost dinner time. Well, got an hour till dinner time, but I want to get one um, lifting session in beforehand. So I'm going to go home and have a protein shake and then uh, get lifting. So I ate real quick and now I'm ready for my workout. So instead of going back to another gym, I decided just to work out at home. So this is actually my basement, well, my garage. And uh, this is where I worked out during the quarantine when all the gyms were closed. As you can see, I got some easy bars over here some dumbbells and then a couple of barbells and what's interesting about my bench is that it's an old board I got from my parents and I use two jack stands to hold the weight up that way I could bench press at home so I actually don't have any heavy weights at home so I'm gonna train circuit style I'm doing very light weights with a uh, little rest. So I'm going to start off with a bench press, move into a bent over row, 
uh, barbell shoulder press, shrug, um, tricep extension, uh, bicep curls, some wrist curls, and then finish it up with an ab roll out. Um, that's all upper body except for uh, the abs, which are core. Uh, I'm not doing any legs. My legs are extremely tired right now. And honestly, I'm surprised I haven't fell over. So um, I'm just going to do, say, about 15 to 20 reps each, maybe 10 rounds, depending on how long it takes me to get the 500 calories burned. So it's just about 6.30. I did eight rounds of the circuit training. It took me about 41 minutes. Fitbot actually said that I burned a thousand calories during that workout, which I think is probably the biggest overestimate of the day. So I'm going to be fair and just say 500 even uh, for that strength training session. So that brings my total uh, before dinner to... 4,619 calories burned. So I'm going to eat some dinner and then I got two more exercises to do. So for dinner, I'm going to grow up some chicken breast and then I have some mashed potatoes. Uh, when I'm done with dinner, I'm going to rest for a while and then uh, finish up with my day. I only got two more exercise sessions to get through. Uh, one harder and uh one a little easier so I'll do the harder one first and that's going to be some hit training and the hit training I'm going to do is from my old video series that was popular in the early 2000s um, you may remember it and, and no it's not P90X it's Shanti and insanity so I chose to do the abs insanity program because out of everything I'm lacking, I think abs are the thing I need the most. So it's only 8.46. That insanity session was actually only 18 minutes long. It, it turns out I picked the one that was the easiest and also um, the least time consuming. So insanity claims that you burn about a thousand calories an hour doing their workouts. Um, whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. But doing the math, 18 minutes. A thousand calories per hour, 18 minutes, 300 calories. So it's not exactly the 500 calories I was aiming for, but on some of the other activities I've done today, I've burned way over 500 calories. So I feel like that makes up for it. So that brings my daily total right now to 4,900. So I'm just a hundred shy of my goal with one exercise to go. So, I saved the easiest exercise for last, actually, walking. So, I'm going to head out to the gym and uh, get this over with. So, it's 9 p.m. and I'm right back where I'm started. So, all I got left to do is walk and burn 500 more calories while doing it. Um, that's going to be a bit difficult because I kind of want to get done in an hour and it's really hard to burn 500 calories just walking in an hour. So I'm going to walk probably 4 miles an hour and put the incline up really high just to try to get this over with as soon as possible. So 
So it's almost 10.30 and challenge complete. So I'm tired, exhausted, my legs hurt, my everything hurts. But I'm glad I saved the walk for last because it was honestly the easiest activity of the day. Though I did have to put the incline up to 8 and uh, walk at a 3.5 mile an hour pace just to uh, get the 500 calories in under an hour, which is what I wanted. Um, because if I would have just walked at a slow pace, it would have took me hour, hour and a half just to finish uh, the challenge. So my final totals for the day are 582 calories burned with a five mile run, 509 calories burned uh, climbing 28 minutes on Jacob's Ladder, 502 calories burned rowing 10,000 meters, 644 calories burned swimming for 55 minutes, 843 calories burned an hour on the recumbent bike, 527 calories burned doing my functional fitness workout, 512 calories burned in 51 minutes on the Stairmaster, 500 calories burned during my weightlifting circuit training session, 300 calories burned doing the Insanity workout, and to top it all off, 506 calories burned with uh, the walk on the treadmill. So my totals for today, I had 5,425 exercise calories burned. So challenge complete, 5,000 calories burned. Uh, that's not including just my um, resting calories burned. So typically your BMR is about 2,000 or so. So actually I probably burned over 7,000 calories. Uh, all together today and, and I only ate um, 5400 in food I'll probably eat something before I go to bed tonight but that's not nearly going to be enough to overcome my caloric deficit which is right around 2300 calories um, so I'm really tired right now so I'm going to head off to bed but before I go to bed I'm just going to do one final weigh in So it's the day after the challenge, I just want to give a quick recap. So first of all, I weighed myself last night, and I was actually two pounds heavier, which is pretty understandable because I ate 5,400 calories yesterday. But I actually weighed myself this morning, and I was 0.2 pounds lighter, which goes to show you that one day of bad eating or exercising vigorously isn't going to do anything. It takes consistency. So my thoughts on the challenge in general was that it was a bit tougher than I anticipated. Uh, I think if I was able to run the whole time that it would have been easier. But just having the different modalities, uh, some of them taking longer to burn the 500 calories than others, uh, it really took me a long time. And as you saw, uh, it was up until after 10 o'clock that I finished the challenge. So I think if I ran, it would have been a lot easier. Um, but overall, I enjoyed it. I would say, obviously, my favorite exercises to do were running and uh, swimming. Um, and Jacob's Ladder I do pretty often, so that was a favorite. But uh, I didn't really enjoy doing the Insanity. I, I think uh, that was my least favorite. But overall, it shows you the variety of ways that you could burn 500 calories or even more if you're looking to do that. Um, I think you just got to stick with whatever you're comfortable with, whatever your favorite is, and uh, go with it. Um, you don't have to focus on either running or uh, biking if you don't enjoy that, but um, just know that there's many different options for you. So if you liked the video, hit the like button, and if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Peace.